Welcome to Uncle's channel. Thanks for watching today. Now, I'm not usually a tech channel. I'm actually a gaming and a retro channel. However, I use my MacBook Pro in order to edit my videos. And today, for some reason, the keyboard and the trackpad just simply stopped working altogether. It would light up in the background, but the uh, trackpad and the keyboard, no matter what I typed or how much I could move it around or try to click on it, it had no response at all. It would make the clicking sound for the trackpad, but no response. Now from reading, it seemed that all of these symptoms seemed to point toward a problem with the trackpad flex cable, which um, I wasn't really familiar with, but it's really easy to find. So today I'm gonna to show you how to find the trackpad flex cable, how to fix the trackpad flex cable, and just simply get your keyboard and trackpad working again 100%. And I also forgot to mention that this is not going to cost you really hardly any money at all, as long as you simply have a screwdriver to take the back off of your computer. And speaking of, the first step is going to be to take the back off of the computer. And like I said, you are going to have to have a special screwdriver. However, I had one from working on my phone years ago that worked completely perfectly, but you can get these off Amazon for really, really cheap. Now, once you've taken the back off the computer, make sure you put the screws in somewhat of a orderly fashion because not all the screws fit into the exact same spots. Like I know the two top ones here, uh, those in particular have to go back into the top. So uh, sort of keep them separated to know which holes that they go back into. The next step is you're going to want to disconnect the battery from the logic board and it's this little part right over here and you just simply uh, lift this little tab up. You can have a little special tool to try to help you with it or you can just simply use your fingernail and sort of uh, push under there and pull up. Either way, it works pretty easily. But you have to make sure you do this step otherwise you're going to end up causing some damage to the board itself if you don't actually uh, disconnect the power here. Now I also recommend a step after you've disconnected the battery from the logic board, simply turn the computer back over, hold the power down for like 10 or 15 seconds, and this drains all of the power out of the battery and it can avoid uh, frying the computer in pretty much any way possible. I know some people don't do this step, but to me it's uh, better safe than sorry. Now go back to the back of the computer and right here is the trackpad flex cable and what you're going to want to do is reset that connection. Now there are two spots to reset it at, the top and the bottom. If you're going to use the top part to reset it, you're going to have to have another special screwdriver, but the bottom connection doesn't need anything special at all. So all you're going to want to do is just simply come down here, and I'm going to zoom in here, and you're just going to simply pull the cable out. And you can see here that there's a little dry rod holder around mine, and um, I went ahead and just simply took that off altogether. That's not necessary to take it off. Mine was just a dry rod, so I just sort of uh, got rid of it here. But all you want to do is to simply pull the ribbon cable itself out from the main connector and let it set outside the connector for like 30 seconds to reset the connection. Then plug the flex cable back into the little receptor here and the trackpad or keyboard has now officially been reset. Then plug the battery back into the logic board, flip the computer back over, power it on, and voila, it should be fixed and your computer should have a fully functional keyboard as well as trackpad once again. Now, if this did not fix the problem, don't worry, you still don't need to take it to the Apple shop and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to get them to look at it and fix it. All you probably need is a new trackpad flex cable in general, and you can get it for these for like 20 bucks off of Amazon or like eBay. And at that point, you're just simply going to disconnect both the top and the bottom, so you'll need that special screwdriver. And then you can install the trackpad flex cable on both sides, and then that should fix the problem. But for most people, just simply disconnecting the bottom part, resetting the trackpad, um, and keyboard and it works completely perfectly that way. But I really hope this little short tutorial here helped to fix your trackpad and keyboard. And if it did, you know, consider giving it a like and subscribe to the channel for some gaming and retro content. And um, there are some computer videos I put out from time to time because my computer is getting a little bit on the older side. I think it's a, a 2015 MacBook Pro. And so um, it's going to have some issues. And anytime an issue arises, I make a little video about how I fixed it. There's another one I made about how to fix the uh, uh, black screen of death when it just sort of comes up and nothing displays. And so uh, anytime computer issues arise on this particular MacBook, Book. I do make videos about it and so um, that's a little bit of the channel but for the most part video gaming and retro content but like I said consider giving a like and subscribe but hopefully get your computer going again and just simply go out there find a great game to play just simply have a great rest of the day.